Hey all, it's Nim or Nim McCree if you're feeling professional, and welcome to the YouTube video. Now today, we're gonna talk about why you should play as Kiros. Kiros is from a fallen nation known as the Nation of Ashes. He was lost to the gloom for many years. He's a scientist, a researcher, a war mage, and a very driven person. So let's talk about his abilities, then we'll show him off in combat. I'll give my final and closing thoughts. So first, as you can see, look, we got Kiros here. This is the heroic variant. He's got a little maw in his stomach, which looks really cool. I believe that Heroic is going to be the, sim the similar to Prime in Warframe. So let's take a look at the abilities. Here we have Savage Rake, of course. Rakes the ground with violent energy, dealing damage to all enemies in front of Kiros. Arcane Fragments can be consumed to cash Savage Rake without using the ability charge. Fun thing, and you'll see this in the dungeon, is that you can actually get more charges than you would normally start with. You start with two. So you can get a, I've gotten up to five. And then you can just whoosh, 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 whoosh. Keep throwing stuff, so it's it's a lot of damage. Kiros doesn't have a lot of non-offensive abilities. And we have Siphon Radiant. Releases a wave of energy around Kiros that damages enemies and absorbs arcane power, reducing cooldowns and granting an arcane fragment. Again, and it's a big, it's a pretty big uh, radius from you. We have Arcane Focus. Marks in the enemies in the immediate area. Marks increases in power as the mark target is hit after reaching max power or after 8 seconds the mark explodes. Dealing damage based on the power of the mark. And then, of course, we have Hand of Reckoning. Deals massive damage in a large radius around Kyrus. And it is pretty massive. It's a giant slamming thing. You'll see that there. And our weapon ability, because I'm using his signature weapon right now, is Arcane Harvest. A spinning slash that, de that deals damage and steals ability power from enemies, increasing in power for each momentum level consumed. I generally like to use heavy weapons with Kyrus. I, I haven't found a character that I think guns feel good on yet. And that may be a problem with guns. We'll look into that in a later video. Finally, we have a passive ability of Arcane Fragments. Arcane Fragments grant an extra charge of Savage Rake. Generate Arcane Fragments by using Siphon Radiant on enemies, landing combo finishers, and from various ability upgrades. We have our passives. So, Innervation Orbs. Defeating enemies has a chance to spawn an Innervation Orb, which can be consumed by the Arcanist or their allies to increase their ability power. And, like Nis, Kiros is an Arcanist. So they benefit from the largest iframes, or invincibility window, when dodging attacks using their blink, and also travel an increased distance. You'll see that in the dungeon. And of course, I did actually pick up an Aspect perk, because I've leveled uh, Kiros up enough. Infused Orbs uh, grants a 50% chance to gain an Arcane Fragment when picking up an Innervation Orb. I have no mutators at the time. So, that's Kiros. A War Mage, a basically, you know, a shotgun and nothing else. So let's take a look at a dungeon. We'll see what happens there, and one thing I do want to mention is that this skin that I'm currently rocking, I believe is only available through pre-order, so if you like it, if you happen to think that it's cool, you know, with the maw and everything like that, uh, you can, that's something you want, you may want to look into. As always, it's probably not going to change any gameplay, but I just wanted to make sure that was there. There was the link. So what I'm going to do now is I'll catch back up with you guys once I'm in the dungeon, and we'll go from there. All right, and we're back, friends. We are back. I'm going to imbue a chalice here real quick just because I like giving Kiros something. Let's go with the solar. Why not? I think that's a max HP buff. Stamina buff. Ah, whatever. I'll take a stamina buff. Not a big deal. Okay, so here we are with Kiros in the Undercroft. Let's get some combat going. Ooh, somebody's toxic. That's not cool. I didn't want to do a toxic. Uh, but whatever. It's fine. I'm not really all that mad. I'll let the Nis do its thing. And there's the Savage Rakes. There's our Mark. So as you can see, the Savage Rakes literally almost like an uppercut with, like, dark magic. And I don't want to say dark. It's Umbral. So technically it's that. I, I like Epitaph. It's not always the most user-friendly. Now, that being said, I tend to prefer... Uh, Wingrave's weapon that I use, the sword and board. Actually, that's the first one I maxed. I maxed Vanguard, and uh, I maxed that. But, this Epitaph does a lot of damage. Just a lot of damage. And so I have uh, experience for five minutes. Because, you know, that's kind of one of the things you should do. Ooh, and they look at Epitaph. Just, just level. Nice. So let's get in there, and I, hopefully I can show off the big 
the big ability, depending on uh, how the dungeon is laid out, I may not be able to, but I'm going to do my best to do so. Oh, and we have uh, another, we have another Kiros. Okay, that's kind of cool. There's the Siphon Radiance, which I wish that, I really wish that would clear poison. Because it does damage, right? All I gotta do is hit these things. Now, if they have a certain amount of health, it doesn't show. And that's a different story entirely, but I do hope they have that. Alright, let's get that. Uh, where's that other one, guys? Come on. Let's go. What do you got for me? There's that. Ugh, if I don't, if I don't, that's the thing is, if I don't run up over there, generally I'm gonna get caught behind because people are waiting and it waits until people get on it, so, like, don't get on it until people get here, but, you know, that's, that would require people to be a little considerate, I suppose. Now, it's randoms, and ultimately, it's not a big deal. I just am like, oh, okay, what are we gonna do here? Alright, let's pop those off. Hello, friends. It's like radiant. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, got a, I just got, I just got guy. So, that's not cool. Hey, one of you, help me up. Come on. I'm used to used to playing with wind gray. <laughs> I can I can just I can just use my use my heels there. But Kiros is good. You just got to play. He's he is again like Nis, a bit of a glass cannon, so you got to be careful. Also, Toxic hurts. So, just letting you guys know in case you were ever curious, Toxic actually hurts. We're not gonna I mean, we are gonna explore, so that's fine. I'm not really worried. There's an innovation orb. So let's just pick up some stuff. Spectra. And I'm gonna open the chest. Heck yeah. And we'll open this. Alright. Hey, cool. Found some echoes. Found a few other things. Wow, this is really not. This is really not. <laughs> Like, this is going by very, very quickly. And I was thinking that we should... While I, while I appreciate it, and I do, I want... Like, I don't know that I'm going to be able to show off the big main attack, but it's kind of one of the reasons why I'm here. Also, why, why do I always queue up into a Toxic? Like, I don't want to queue into a Toxic. I know why I'm queuing into a Toxic. There's, there's, right now, there's an XP. Uh, experience game. That's way level. But, uh... And then I'm forgetting that. That's why it's always toxic. I pick up pages, it, it abandon it, and then. There's the momentum. A little, a little spin there. That little, that little. Do it again. That right there. That is Epitaph's signature ability, but not the big one. The big one's the hand. If you look over on the right, the lower right hand side of the screen. You should see. Oh, I got. It. Let's go. Let's go help some people. Let's go. Make sure you're good, buddy. All right, and I'm gonna heal. There's a lot. All right, so we're almost halfway there. Hey, cool little chest. A blooming scarf. Nice. Anything else over here that I can grab? I don't see anything else that I can grab, but we'll see. And you can see those arcane fragments orbiting, or, or orbiting around me. Those are, that's why I have four uh, charges of Savage Rake. Oh, looks like we're at the end of the dungeon, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. And we'll, if I don't, if I don't show it off here, I will cut and wait, and wait, we're not gonna, we're not gonna waste our time. That. So you can see Kiro so far, not bad. Not my best character, not gonna lie to you. But, very fun. Jump for that. Of course, with a heavy weapon, you want to alternate between... With one of these big heavy weapons, you want to alternate between light and heavy attacks. Because that way you can attack faster. So we'll lock on. Oh, hey now, buddy. 
take a little extra damage. Ow. And he's dead. Okay, so no no luck there. Let's let's pick up let's pick up our spoils. We're almost we're we're almost done with uh let's say we're almost we're almost done with this. So I figure let's 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 show off let's show off uh, Kiros's main ability here real quick. I wish it was I wish it would say what the cooldown was. That I think would be a nice a nice upgrade, but we're gonna we're gonna wait on that real quick. So I'm gonna cut here and then we'll be back right when I can do the big the big uh, ultimate ability. Alright, now we're back. I had to go into another instance and kill some more things and actually do it solo, so time for the ultimate ability. A Hand of Reckoning. Boom! And as you can see, it's a giant hand uh, in the shape of Kiros' hand. That does massive damage, but I wanted to show that off specifically. Now, why should you play Kiros, right? You should play Kiros if you like to be real aggressive, if you like to have kind of a shadowy feel, if you want to do just a lot of damage and have a lot of synergy with damage abilities. That being said, Kiros doesn't have any self-healing, so your potions are going to be your best friend, and your elixirs are also going to be your best friend. Kiros is a fun Wayfinder to play as, and he right now he's the only one that I know of with a heroic variant. So if you want to be absolutely a shotgun and nothing else, Kiros. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, if you did, uh, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, may the item you're farming drop on the first time you run the instance. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.